Qatar and Global 24th June 2021. Qatar Hotel Association held an online meeting with the managers of Qatari hotels affiliated to the members of the association in the presence of Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed bin Fahad Al Thani, President of the Republic of Senegal, Nake Sol, highlighted the initiative of State of Qatar in organizing Qatar Economic Forum powered by Bloomberg. Economies around the world have now become highly interdependent and interconnected, and this was evident after the outbreak of COVID-19. Noted Sheikh Dr. Khalid bin Thani Abdullah, Al Thani QAIB's Chairman and Managing Director. The Ministry of Transport and Communication on Wednesday signed a Memorandum of Cooperation with the Lean Construction Institute, Qatar, and to enhance cooperation in such a way that serves the engineering and construction industry in Qatar. So, Ministry of Transportation and Communication signed a MOU with the Institute. Qatar Investment Authority, which has been investing heavily in the technology in the last two years, find promising pol potential in warehouses and data centers within the uh, real estate segments. Qatar also has taken additional measures to facilitate trade flow and boost investments, which have resulted in considerable reduction in transaction cost, thus helping the country achieve faster growth with efficiency. On climate change, Al Khwari said that Qatar has taken the issue very seriously, and in this regard, he highlighted that the country has pledged 100 million in support for the small and developing island nations, at least developed states, to deal with the climate change. He also highlighted Qatar's tourism development strategy now includes promotion of eco friendly activities. Qatar has to further strengthen its greenhouses and vertical farming to address the key issue of food security. According to a top officials of the Assad Food, an investment fund in food and agri sectors backed by countries' sovereign wealth funds. So, Qatar free zone are set to enable partnerships between foreign investors and local companies, creating an economic development platform for local and international investors. Ahmad Syed, His Excellency Ahmad Syed, Minister of State and Chairman of QEF ZA. QA is waiting for cryptos to mature. That's what the Qatar Investment Authority CEO said. Cryptocurrencies need a bit of maturity before we make our view about investing in that space. Still, it's not mature. That's what is assessment fully. Qatar Investment Authority Officer Mansur bin Ibrahim Al Mahmoud. This year, the fund will look to formalize the process of factoring in environment, sustainability governance, coordinates into investment aid criteria. QP receives offer for double the amount of equity available in NFE projects. Sharid Al Kabi. Speaking in the Qatar Economic Forum, Kabi stated that QP was in the process of evaluating commercial offers received for participation in the largest LNG development in the world with a capacity of 32 million tons per annum of LNG. And Qatar Petroleum had received offers that covered double the offered by equity stake. GTR names QNB as the best trade finance bank in Qatar. QCB Governor, UBS Chief, discussed the way forward for global economies. High-tech ecosystems helps QFZA tide over virus impact. Pandemic changed the mindset of digitization. What do you do, Deputy CEO? While teleco operators around the world what I do included how long digitization as a core element of the strategy. Sheikh Mohammed told the panel the challenges of COVID-19 situation has accelerated this digitization and perspectives changed both business and individuals move their lives online. And that's the huge transformation, personal life and professional life. GECF explores consensus on methane emission cuts. Agricultural activities are the biggest contributor to methane emissions, followed by 
oil and gas industry accounting around 25% of which 77 comes from the upstream sector. Methane is more than 25 times as potent as carbon dioxide at trapping heat in the atmosphere. It's however much more short-lived compared to carbon dioxide. So emission cuts on methane is important. 25% of which 77% comes from upstream sectors. So we have to cut the emissions. Georgian PM stresses need to unite efforts to tackle COVID-19. Qatar Exchange so forum, Qatar Economic Forum, rather, a genuine initiative to spur constructive dialogue. Qatar keen on promoting STEM education, that is addressing, equipping the success using STEM education to drive future economic growth. Qatar Economic Forum is a congregation of technocrats, politicians, bankers, regulators, ministers. So the ministry has equipped a number of labs including digital fabrication, laboratories, robotics, automation labs as well as virtual reality and augmented reality labs. So it's very important. STEM education is vital. So now most of the meetings are online. Qatar Hotel Association again held its meeting online. Lifestyle behavior adjustments needed post-pandemic normalcy. Vodafone launches Nokia X20 5G in Qatar. Vodafone on Wednesday announced exclusive launch on Qatar's Nokia X20 5G smartphone, which customers can enjoy a Vodafone powerful Giga 5G network. Nokia X20 5G is available now in selected Vodafone stores and e-shops priced at Qatar Real 1199. Banking system in Qatar proved ability to mitigate risk. QCB governor at Qatar Economic Forum. Shaika Hind stresses need to change the global work system for sake of women and society. Addressing the Qatar Economic Forum, the role and needs of the women may disrupt the societies in the future. It is it, it commensurating with the role. That's what matters. End of the day, that is gross welfare, gender equality. So women all over the world do not have the capabilities they had one year ago, take care of their children, which indicates the current global work system does not meet the lifestyle of women. And it was the case with systems that preceded it. Now, everything can be done online. Simultaneously, the participation in terms of official or social structural forums will help to consolidate even place of work can be redefined and the time can be redefined for women participation in the governance. Qatar Central Bank Governor sees no need to change currency peg regime. That's what he said. And uh, globally, US panel pushed ahead legislation targeting big tech, big tech power. Europe power up electric car battery drive as sales sector is cut. So all these are challenges and changes which are widely addressed by the big picture Qatar Economic Forum.